Hi Curious! Queen Elizabeth II is the longest reigning monarch in history as she has been on the throne for 69 years and she is also the oldest living reigning monarch and just today she celebrates her 95th birthday. It is said that she plans to rule until her last moment and it is worth noting that even now when she is just a few years away from her 100th birthday she is holding up very well and it seems to have discovered the secret to long life. But how is it possible that she enjoys good health for so long? Is it down to family genes and a fabulously privileged life? What can we learn from the Queen to live such a ripe old age as she did? Stay with us until the end to find out the answers to these questions and also to find out why Elizabeth II celebrates her birthday twice a year and how it is celebrated in the UK at this time. But before we go any further, don't forget to turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos full of the wow factor. Let's start the Queen's story from the very beginning, that is, with her coming into the world on April 21st, 1926. Elizabeth was born in London as the first child of Prince Albert and his wife Elizabeth Bowles Leon. At the time, no one even expected that the girl would one day sit on the throne, and especially that she would start fulfilling the monarch's duties at the age of 25. So how did this happen? Well, the main culprit of the whole situation was her uncle, King Edward VIII, who made history by renouncing the crown to marry American divorcee Wallace Simpson. But let's return to the subject of Elizabeth, or more precisely her father, since it was he who, after the unexpected abdication of Edward VIII, succeeded him and came to the British throne in 1936. However, after several years of reign, he prematurely passed away from this world, and thus, his eldest daughter, Elizabeth, officially became queen as a 27-year-old, and the crown was placed on her head in 1953. Since then, she has led some of the most successful reigns of all monarchs in history, and in 2017, she has already become a legend as the first British monarch to celebrate 65 years of reign. In doing so, she broke the record set by her great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, who sat on the throne for 63 years. Elizabeth II's reign has been a series of record-breaking moments. As the 40th ruler of the British nation, she witnessed 12 British Prime Ministers, 11 US Presidents and 7 Popes. She also became the most travelled monarch of all time and visited 116 countries during her tenure. The British people are especially looking forward to next year, as in 2022 the monarch will celebrate her Platinum Jubilee, an incredible 70 years since the Queen came to the throne. No less an occasion for celebration falls us all today, as the Queen celebrates her 95th birthday. However, it is worth noting that this is not a public holiday, as Elizabeth II spends this time on April 21st in private, surrounded by her family. It is not until June that official celebrations take place, and the tradition of celebrating the monarch's birthday twice a year was established back in the 18th century by King George II. It is June that has become the month of proper celebrations as England has unpredictable weather, but there is a greater chance of sunny weather during the summer. This also when the ceremonial parade called Trooping the Colour takes place, during which a military parade with the Sovereign passes through the streets of London, salutes are fired into the air in her honour, and the whole ceremony is closed by a flight of RAF planes watched by members of the royal family from the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Of course, during this time, thousands of citizens take to the streets with British flags to also celebrate the birthday of their Queen and take part in the festivities. Although it is worth noting that this year, as in the previous one, such celebrations were cancelled due to the coronavirus pandemic. Besides, this year, the Queen's birthday is held in a rather sad atmosphere because less than two weeks ago, her spouse, Prince Philip, who would have turned exactly 100 years old on June 10th, passed away from this world. But you can listen about the celebration of her birthday in the shadow of mourning on our other channel, Curiosips. Living to such a ripe old age, it's not uncommon in the British ruling family, as according to research, its members live on average 30 years longer than their subjects. The real record holder turned out to be the mother of the current reigning monarch, who died at the age of 101. Also, Elizabeth II's great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, lived to the ripe old age of 81. So the reigning queen, thanks to genetic predisposition, has a good chance of exceeding 100. Especially as she is in very good health and looking at her, it is hard to believe that she is now 95 years old. However, we must not forget that to get this far, you also need the right lifestyle, without which even the best genetic makeup can be destroyed. 
So looking at the life of Queen Elizabeth, experts have determined what factors probably contributed to the secret of her long life and contrary to appearances, it is not just due to wealth surrounding her and the hordes of royal servants who are at her beck and call. What then caused the ruler to enjoy a long life? Firstly, a proper diet and meals prepared from fresh vegetables, fruits, poultry and fish are very important. Despite appearances, the Queen has a very simple menu, which does not change much from day to day. She also makes sure to eat small portions so as not to overeat. Her favourite foods are fish, which are served almost daily, the aforementioned seasonal fruits and vegetables and grilled chicken, which provides a good dose of protein. In addition, the Queen is also urged to eat healthy by her son, Prince Charles, who has been an advocate of organic farming for years. It is also not without significance that the head of the British royal family follows a strict routine throughout the day. Her daily life, including her meals, is meticulously organised, so everything she does has its own unchanging schedule, which you can learn a lot more about in our episode about the royal's habits. Before you get to it, though, listen to what else the Queen does to keep herself so well on track. Well, another factor is maintaining a steady body weight, and while the Queen is unlikely to wear clothes that heavily accentuate her figure, it was probably not hard to see that she has never been in danger of being overweight. Anyway, she is also a big enthusiast of outdoor exercise. She loves long walks, which she especially embodies during her holiday stays at Balmoral Castle. The monarch is also known for her love of horses, breeding them, and often going on horseback rides, which also has excellent health benefits. Even her beloved corgi dogs are helpful in staying fit, not only because of the exercise involved in playing with them, but also by the fact that it has been scientifically proven that domestic pets can lower stress levels and improve one's mood. And while we're on the subject, a daily drink is also extremely helpful for improving the Queen's mood. Even doctors point out that small amounts of high percentage drinks can have beneficial effects on the heart or brain. Besides, she also does not forget each day the traditional English drink tea, which according to nutritionists has anti-cancer effects and prevents heart disease, among other things. The Queen reportedly also loves to drink barley water, which in turn is said to help her enjoy a creamy and healthy complexion and to soothe her during stressful moments. Well, stress, there is no shortage of that in the life of the monarch. Constant scandals, divorces of her children, many difficult moments that she went through throughout her life certainly can have a very negative impact on her well-being and health. This is why Elizabeth II cared for and still cares for the moments in which she can relax, as we mentioned a moment ago, although it is worth noting that it is not necessary to have a horse farm or a whole bunch of cute dogs nearby to feel better and forget about stressful moments. Sometimes a relaxing bath, which the Queen practices supposedly every day, is also enough. She also doesn't forget to keep a constant check on her health, and as you can guess, she has access to some of the best healthcare in the country, with doctors constantly monitoring whether she is threatened by any illness. She herself also takes exceptional care to be in the best shape possible. She has reportedly never smoked a cigarette and even convinced Prince Philip to give up the habit shortly after their marriage. She also stayed out of the scorching sun all her life, usually spending vacations in Scotland far from the tropics, and this habit proved particularly sultry for the appearance of her skin. What's more, the head of the British nation makes sure to still remain smart. So she reads newspapers, uses the internet, sends emails to her grandchildren and does not shy away from using social media. Besides, an extremely important factor that has certainly contributed to her long and healthy reign is the fact that the Queen is always working and still refuses to retire as long as she is able to perform her royal duties. Consequently, consistent work gives her one of life's goals which is important for both physical and mental health. Not without importance is also a rich social life, the lacks of which Queen Elizabeth is certainly cannot complain about. Family gatherings, parties, formal dinners, all of these, according to researchers, in turn, affect emotional health. So does working with others, helping out or charity work, which is very important to the Queen, as evidenced by the fact she patronises nearly 600 charitable organisations. So as you might have heard, the secret to the British Queen's long life does not have to lie solely in the luxurious life of the royal family can afford, or just good genes. 
Many of her daily rituals anyone can incorporate into their daily lives, or perhaps you're already doing so without knowing that this is exactly what the Queen does. What are your ways to achieve long life? Meanwhile, we wish the British monarch to live to over 100 years in the best of health. And what do you, in turn, wish for her? Be sure to let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video. Until next time!